Liliana Salazar was playing near her family's apartment Sunday when a strange woman tried to take her away. She said I was her daughter and she wanted to see me. She said the woman grabbed her arm, but she got away and ran to tell her grandmother. Police showed up and arrested Stephanie Romero as she sat along the edge of the Springwater corridor. I live right next door. So um, I see the kids out playing all the time. Debbie Clausen uh, said the attempted kidnapping concerned. shook those who lived nearby. And it's it's scary because there's no there's no protection there's no protection for for a citizen. The apartments are just across the fence from the Springwater corridor. It's known for the many who bike and run here, and for the homeless who camp here. We're involved in the community. Um, you know. Uh, we have homes in this neighborhood. I have a home right around the corner from the business. Uh, my sister does also. John Spinnett is the general manager of Steve's Imports, an auto repair shop right across the street from the apartment complex and also right next to the Springwater Corridor. He believes police have their hands tied when it comes to the homeless out here. Is it frustrating that the mayor's office won't do more then? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely frustrating. Um, you know, myself, uh, family, uh, friends have made countless phone calls to the mayor's office regarding our concerns, and uh, we have yet to been, uh, yet to be noticed. Romero is now being held on kidnap, theft, and burglary charges. And that neighbor, Debbie Clausen, said the mayor needs to let the police help with the homeless problems. I think the mayor needs to do more about homelessness and make it, you know, it's not okay. And, you know, there's, there's got to be some kind of consequence on, you know, treating our city the way it is and, and uh, you know, just to keep crime control. By the way, that little six-year-old girl's mother didn't wait for police. She took things into her own hand, punched the kidnapper in the face and ended everything. We put in calls to the mayor's office asking for their response to all this. We've not heard back all day.